Uh, thank you very much, uh, Duncan. Um, just to reassure you, I'm, I'm here not to challenge you and the other candidates. I'm here to challenge uh, David Cameron. Yes. Um, that's the main person who's at fault here. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name's uh, Clive P. Dell. I'm a cancer specialist. I'm actually based up in uh, North Yorkshire. Uh, but I'm actually an Oxford boy. I was born at the Churchill Hospital. Uh, I used to play footy for Encham and Old Woodstock. My brother lives in Cobbs. So um, I've got some legitimacy to be here. But I'm really here, like I say, to challenge David Cameron. Because basically, uh, it, at the last election, the NHS wasn't even an issue, was it? It was just not an issue. And interestingly, for the Tories, it's still in the, the, not even in their top six priorities, which is an absolute scandal. Because it's actually the number one issue now for voters. And again, I agree with what Duncan's just said. I mean, Jeremy Paxman, not a single question was uh, to the Tory leader, which is an absolute disgrace that it wasn't one of the main issues that was in that, in that debate. Uh, and what, what we've seen in the last five years is, is scandalous. Uh, we've had a massive top-down reorganisation that uh, the Tories and the Liberal Democrats said they wouldn't do. Uh, we're having increasing privatisation, massive levels of cuts, and that's why we've got a, a crisis at the moment. That's why people are struggling to see their local GPs. Uh, it's why we can't get uh, elderly people back into their care homes. We've got massive problems uh, around our A&E departments and huge problems in me mental health care. And just generally across the board, the austerity is causing massive damage to our economy. And we actually believe that health and education spending actually can stimulate economic growth. We need to be doing that rather than leaving our young people with a lifetime of debt, uh, with student fees to pay off mortgages and all the rest of it. So uh, we're a big believers of, of, of uh, the anti-austerity uh, policies that, that we have, so we have much wider policies. Um, but uh, I, I want to thank everybody coming along today. It's a grim day, but we've got to fight for the future of this yeah. country. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. we're going to make it a much better place. And we're fighting together, uh, all of us. Uh, and I know we'll be splitting votes, but we'll, um, we're going to do our very best uh, to hold Cameron to account. Because I believe if we raise the NHS as a big issue, even a small percentage change for the Tory vote, could have a massive impact in a really tight election. So a small party like mine, actually, because we've got credibility with the public in terms of they trust doctors and healthcare professionals, by raising a voice about what's going on, damaging the Tory vote by just a small percentage actually will help other better parties get into power. All right, th thanks very much indeed. Thank you.